Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about how to play main 2003 vertical arcade games on our At Games Legends Pinball. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we dive in, there's a few things I want to clarify before we do. You will need a Windows computer in order to follow along with these steps, and we're only going to cover packaging the vertical MAME 2003 games, or a few of them anyway, with the 0.78 ROM set. And the reason for that is you're going to have to go into each game and map any additional buttons that you need, and you only have two buttons available for that, such as your left and right flippers, which kind of limits the number of games that you're going to be playing. However, there is a new accessory that's coming out for the Legends Pinball, the Arcade Control Panel, which I will be reviewing as soon as it comes in, so definitely stay tuned for that. Also, we're not going to discuss the batch feature. I want to keep this video brief. If you do want to see that in the future, please comment below and let me know. I will be stepping you through the process from beginning to end, including the button mapping. I won't be providing any links to any games, so you'll have to get those entirely on your own. It's totally up to you what you put on your machine. And for the Legends Pinball, you don't need bezels, so we're not going to cover that, and it's totally unnecessary on this particular machine. If you have any difficulty following along in this video, you can go to wagnerstechtalk.com, go to the guides, Go to the At Games Legends Pinball Guide and select the one for the Vertical Main Guide. From there, you'll find all the instructions that you're going to see here, including all links. So let's go ahead and get started with step number one. First, you're going to need a USB thumb drive or flash drive. I picked up this Samsung 32 gig on Amazon. I like the fact that it's very low profile and doesn't stand out too much when it's sitting on the At Games Legends Pinball machine itself. Taking a quick look at the properties, you'll see here that it is a FAT32 formatted USB stick out of the box. If the drive is 32 gigabytes or less, you can format it as FAT32 using File Explorer. If it's larger than that, you can use a tool such as Disk Genius to go ahead and format the drive. Simply select the drive and click Format, and from here you can select the file system of FAT32. From there, enter a label if you wish, and go ahead and click the Format button. Just double check that you've got the correct drive selected. Now to go along with the instructions, I'm going to go to a temp directory that I've created and under that directory I'm going to create a subdirectory called ALP, a Games Legends Pinball. This is where we're going to copy all our files to stage and build our game packaged files. The first tool we're going to download is the Falcon Maze Ultimate Add-on tool. So just click the link there and go to the download and go ahead and click download and we'll go ahead and copy and paste that file into our ALP subdirectory. From there, we'll just double click the file and follow the prompts to install it to our computer. Next, we're gonna need the image files for all of our MAME games. So we'll click here, scroll down until you see MAME.zip, and then go ahead and download and save that to your computer. It is a little over three gigabytes in size, so it'll take a while. I'm going to use 7-zip, right click the file, and extract to the MAME subdirectory. And that'll take just a few seconds to go ahead and extract all the artwork. Once you do, double click MAME, and I'll double click into the box art subfolder so you can get an idea of the files that are in there. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of artwork. We don't need the MAME.zip file, so I'll click that and delete it. If you don't already have 7-zip installed, you can click this link and it'll take you directly to the download page for 7-zip and go ahead and select the version that you want to install. Next, you'll want to download the MAME 2003 Plus Core. Just click the download link and go ahead and download it to your computer. Copy it to the root of your ALP directory and then go ahead and use 7-zip and extract to here. Once you do that, you'll have the .so file and you can go ahead and delete the zip file. Now we'll create a ROM subfolder and this will be the folder that contains our games, our vertical main games that we want to use with the At Games Legends Pinball. I have a small collection of ROM files that I want to install on my pinball machine, so I'll go ahead and copy and paste those in here. Now we'll launch the add-on tool that we recently installed. And from here you can also select multiple packages if you want to convert a large number of files, but in this case I want to keep it short and simple. We're going to go ahead and just select a single ROM. 
and we'll go ahead and double click the ROMs directory and first off you won't see any files there. If you go to the lower right and select any file you'll now see all your ROMs. So I'm going to scroll down and go ahead and select one of my favorites which is TimePilot. So simply select the file and click open. From there we need to select the emulator core so we'll click the choose file button and then go to the root of the ALP directory and select our core file, which is this MAME 2003 Plus LibRetro core. Next, we need the box art. So we'll click the Choose button under the box art heading and go to our MAME subdirectory and double click and double click on the box art. From here, I'll just click on one of the thumbnails and press the first letter of the name of the game I'm looking for, which is Time Pilot, and then scroll down. And there's the artwork. I'll go ahead and click open. And now we're almost complete. I'm going to change this game title to say Time Pilot instead of the name of the zip file. And now we're ready to build it. So at this point, click the Build Package button. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the ALP directory and create a subdirectory under there called UCE. So just type in UCE. And this is where we'll save all our add-on files that we want to use with our At Games Legends pinball. So we have our add-on time pilot UCE, and it's going to go ahead and build the file and save it into that subdirectory. Now we're done. Go ahead and click OK. And at this point, you can just repeat the same process for any other games that you want to create. And if you're interested in seeing the batch creation method, please comment below and let me know. Alright, so now we'll go back to our UCE directory, and I have a few more to add that I've already converted, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste those into this subdirectory. And now, I'm going to take all of these files by selecting all of them and copy them to the clipboard. And then we're going to move over to our USB stick, which is our FAT32 32 gigabyte USB stick, and go ahead and paste the files into the root directory. Now I'll right click and go ahead and eject the USB drive. And now I'll show you how to play these games on your At Games Legends Pinball. Now on the machine, the USB stick on the left contains all my pinball games, and on the right is going to contain the arcade game. So we'll go ahead and pop in that USB stick. And as soon as we do, we will then navigate over to the BYOG tab, move down using the D-pad, go over to Add-ons, and now we're going to press the play or select button on the front of the machine, move down with the D-pad, press play again, and now you'll see your list of games on the USB stick. Now we'll just use the D-pad to navigate the list of games, and we'll move over to the right and select Time Pilot. From here we'll hit the play or select button. The only buttons that you're going to need to map are those for, let's say, shooting or jumping or what have you. To enter the main menu, press the left nudge button. Highlight Input General, press the front nudge button, move down to the button 1 configuration, and go ahead and press the front nudge button again, then press the left or right flipper button to go ahead and map the button, repeat for button 2 if necessary, then press the left nudge to close out the main menu. Now let's go ahead and play our first game. We'll go ahead and press the play button twice, first time to insert a coin, the second one to start the game. And the games play very well. I love this game on the vertical screen. <laughs> it looks great. There are some useful settings that you want to know about if you hit the menu button on the front right. From here you can press the select button to quit the game. The advanced config and button mapping buttons, neither one of those options seem to do anything. We'll move down to the display mode where you can select center, fit, or fill if you want to go full screen. And that last option that we're going to take a look at is the scanline filter, which is one that I really appreciate. There are three different settings of off, horizontal, or vertical. I prefer the vertical scan lines as it looks closer to the original arcade CRT monitors. Now we'll move on and take a look at Pac-Man. For games like this that just move up, down, left, right, there is no mapping required. Now we'll take a look at another popular classic arcade game, Galaga. 
On this game, you will also need to map the fire button, just like what we did in Time Pilot. And now we'll take a quick look at Arrow Fighters. These games are a lot of fun to play on the Legends Pinball. Keep in mind, I didn't buy this machine to play arcade games, but it totally works. And I'm definitely looking forward to trying out these games on the arcade control panel, which includes not only a joystick and buttons, but also a trackball. I have two more games I want to show you before we end this video. The next one is going to be Frogger, and I'm going to change the display mode to fill, so you can get a good idea of what that looks like on the display. You'll notice the aspect ratio is not exactly correct with the fill display mode, but it's still pretty neat. Alright, and lastly, we'll take a look at 1943. And this is going to be in the display mode of fit, which is going to fit it horizontally across the full width of the screen. Lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed this look at installing arcade games on your Legends Pinball. I think it's an awesome option and definitely something to look at if you already own a Legends Pinball or plan to in the near future. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And if you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, which I really hope you do, please click the subscribe. Be sure and share this video with all your friends. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.